Hello, hello, hello. This is Prophetess Tay Janice. I'm here with another prophetic word from the Lord thy God. Before anything, you must seek the Lord by using your discernment spirit. You must also discern the voice of God by testing. You may discern what the will of God is for you to be sure this prophecy is indeed for you. Holy Spirit will welcome you in right now with thanksgiving in our hearts. Father, we pause to tell you that we thank you, that we love you, that we honor you, Father God. I ask and pray that it be none of me and all of you. Father God, I ask that you have your way. Deliver us from making poor choices and bad decisions. God, I ask right now that you touch each and every person that's under the sound of my voice. I ask that you meet every single household need of faith. God, we thank you in advance. Father God, we need you. We glorify your holy name, Father Jesus. And we silence the voice of every single Goliath that's speaking negative against your word, your will, and your way. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. So the title of this message is, Your Kingdom Spouse Needed a Tune-Up. Yes, your kingdom spouse needed a tune-up. And this message may not be for everyone. It may just be for one or two people. Um, you want to make sure you take this message, take this word back to the Lord in prayer. Um, again, because every single prophetic word is not for everyone. Um, but if this is you and um, you know exactly who I'm talking to, the Lord is speaking to you today. And he just, he just wants to bless you. He just wants to help you. He just wants to love on you and allow you to know that you guys just needed a tune-up. Amen. And um, the Lord has been speaking directly with a few of you to allow you to know that, you know, he's mending the relationships back together. He's, rec he's reconciling with a lot of you. Um, many of you may be in separation. You know, um, maybe many of you have started back talking, but, you know, the Lord is doing a new thing. Old things have passed away. Behold, the Lord is doing a new thing. Guys, I'm so excited about this message because, you know, it's the little things um, that the Lord is saying, you know, today that it can cause such a, a conflict, right? You got to make sure that those fruits of the spirit are intact. And I want to give you the scripture that he's given to me. We're actually going to be talking a little bit about the fruits of the spirit that he just placed, you know, on my heart, you know, to give to you along with this tune up that's needed. So the scripture is going to be coming from Galatians chapter five, beginning at the 22nd verse. And it says, but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith meekness temperance against such there is no law so this scripture here allows you to know that these are the fruits of the spirit that you must practice this is what you must have love is you know it's, it's patient it's kind you know and sometimes the little things that are overlooked in the relationship are overlooked in the marriage it becomes a big deal you know relationships you know it's just like cars um you know you're going to experience some wear and some tear and you got to make sure that you're patient you're kind you know you got to make sure that no matter what's going on with it that you're patient with it that you're taking the time to understand what the problem is what's going on what's happening and this is what the lord is speaking to these kingdom spouses he's allowing them to know that you know hey um, things can be just like a car sometimes wear and tear happens and you know if we ignore the little things that go wrong we'll end up having a major breakdown so in order for you know this relationship to go and this marriage to go or to be rekindled or be reunited right there has to be some type of intentional um, response to do better because when you know better you do better when you know to treat each other better, you, you're going to operate in that very thing that is needed to be done because you see the problem, you see the issue, and now a solution has to be taken care of. So um, for many of you, you know, you love your kingdom spouse so much and um, you just didn't know what the issue is. Again, it's just like a vehicle, right? You, you might hear a little noise here and there, but you don't know if it needs an oil change. You don't know if it needs a tune-up, spark plug. Something needs to be changed. And that relationship, a lot of you guys don't know where things went wrong. You know, it seems like one day you're up, you know, the next day that you're down. And that's what that car does sometimes. Sometimes that car, 
it, it's shaking, it's rattling, you don't know what's going on with it, it's loud, maybe need a muffler, you know, anything could be happening. So if you don't take that, you know, car in, if you don't take your relationship and surrender it over to God, it's, it can be a major breakdown. And a lot of you have got to the point to where it is a major breakdown and the Lord is trying to tune you up. Hallelujah. I feel this word so heavy for somebody. And in order for you to have that tune up, you know, there's going to be some long suffering, right? Some patience, some kindness, some meekness. You want to make sure that you are in place to where the Lord can take full charge and allow the Lord to know, you know, hey, I signed the permission slip of you taking control of this marriage of this reconciliation god i can't do it by myself i need you i need you to have your way i need you to tune this thing up amen go ahead and drop down in the comments if this is this if this word or this message is for you just say lord i need to tune up um lord i thank you for the tune up in advance thank you for going ahead and make sure that you're ready and available to give us this tune up because the lord is about to cultivate this relationship so for many of you that are coming back together you know, again, this message may not be for everyone, but when you guys come back together or reunited, this could be someone that you're meeting new. You know, the Lord has done a tune up on the inside of your heart. He's created in you a clean heart and he has renewed your mind. Hallelujah. This message is for somebody. And that's what the Lord is doing currently. So this relationship, this marriage, when it comes together, you know, there's work to be done. And, you know, what the Lord brings together, no man can tear apart. What he joins together, no man can tear apart. Um, that Genesis 2 is coming up. You are still bone of his bone. You are flesh of his flesh. And God is moving. Um, this is happening suddenly inside of you guys' life. And this is a major breakthrough for somebody because there was someone who was just crying out to the Lord, praying to the Lord for some guidance and the Lord is just like, I'm right here. Bring it all to me. Jeremiah 33 and 3. Use the Lord's phone number. Call him up and tell him, you know, that you need him. You know, stop, shut your mouth. Don't go in talking about God. I want you to do this, that, and the third. God, I need you. Go ahead and acknowledge him. Lean not towards your own understanding, but in all of your ways, acknowledge who God is first. Let him know that you need him, that you love him, that you can't make it without him. And man, allow him to know that God, your will will be done. And man, allow your kingdom to come so that your will can be done. Not to, so, I'm sorry, so that his will can be done. Not your will, but so that his will can be done all the way through. Who am I talking to today? The Lord is about to give your relationship, this marriage, the tune-up that you have been needing, right? Because you guys have cried out to the Lord. You prayed to him, right? And for many of you, you've done that James, I think it's a 5 and 16, right? You have sat there with one another, confessed your sins one to another. You took out time to get this tune-up done, right? And you pray effectively for one another, right? And it's power in that prayer that you did. It's power when you come together and you admit where you were wrong at and you try to do better. You don't listen just to respond. You listen to understand what's going on so that the issue can be fixed. And God is in the midst of it when you pray. When you pray, something happens when you pray. And you, you pray to believe. You pray to have trust. You pray to have faith. It's something about believing that you know things are going to work things are going to come together you know it's so much power so much faith inside of that belief right uh, mark 9 and 23 allows us to know that anything is possible to those who believe where is your faith check your faith you know if the lord brought you to it he's going to see you through it what's for you is for you it doesn't matter how long it's been um, and a lot of you are holding grudges. You got to stop this holding grudges against one another, right? You'd be surprised just how much time you've missed out on your blessing from the Lord because of your attitude, right? So I don't know who that was for, but I'm putting that out there. That's what the Holy Spirit dropped in. You know, I don't want to just feed your soul. I need your spirit to be fed as well. Amen. I, I know it sounds good with the with God, you know, bringing things back together because it is good. But I want you to know that Romans 8 and 28 tells us all things <laughs> work together for the good of those that love the Lord. So it's still got to be some chastisement up in there. It still has to be some obedience in there. It's rules and regulations to this thing. Okay. Amen. Um, so don't forget to silence the voice of every Goliath that's speaking negative devil. Come on now, if you're going to be rapping, we'll be singing, we'll be doing a duet, but you're not going to back us in the corner to make us feel and believe 
that we're not going to get this tune-up. Amen. You're going to get this. Somebody say, I'm going to get this tune-up. <laughs> Amen. I love you guys so much. Let's go to the throne of grace. Spirit of the living God, we just thank you for this message. We pause to tell you that we thank you. We love you. We trust you. God, we ask right now that you continue to lead in God the way. We surrender all to you right now, withholding nothing. Father God, we ask right now that you have your way right now. Allow your kingdom to come so that your will can be done on earth as it is in heaven. And Father, we thank you that you're doing this tune up right now. In Jesus name we do pray. Amen. Amen. If you're new here, welcome. Shalom in the Lord. Many peace in the Lord. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. As the Lord downloads to me, I'm going to upload every single time he gives me something for you. So you don't want to miss out, amen, on what the Lord has for you. you at the right place at the right time, getting the right word, amen. And just know that what's for you is for you. And there's nothing that that devil can do to stop it. Amen. You better operate in your jurisdiction. You got power over every creeping thing, over every crawling thing, over every foul of the earth. And it's important that you act like you know, like you know. Amen. Amen. You may have came in one way, but you're going to walk out in what the Lord has for you. Amen. I feel this so heavy for somebody. Somebody's getting a tune up. Amen. Somebody's relationship, marriage. Um, new relationship coming together and there's nothing the devil can do to stop it amen thank you guys for your super thanks your prayers your support amen again i just I just started with the paypal so i'm going to put that in the description box you know cash up any way you want to sow amen just go ahead and sow into this ministry as the lord lays it on your heart if you believe a little sow a little if you believe a lot sow a lot amen I'll be more than happy to stand in agreement with you just as long as God can get the glory. Amen. When the widow woman put that all that she had into the prophet's hand, all she had, watch what God does for you. The same way he multiplied it for her, he will multiply it for you. Amen. Well, I love you with the love of Christ. And guess what? There's nothing you can do about it. I'll see you in the next video.